Hey there, it's Mastin Kip. Welcome to today's coaching conversation. I'm gonna to talk to you today and teach you actually how you can be perfect, literally, how you can be perfect. Now that sounds crazy. Maybe it's like your dream come true, like you've been waiting around to be perfect your whole life and you haven't quite got there. Maybe you're thinking, you know what, Mastin, screw you. I'm not gonna buy into that type of stuff. That's not, perfection's not impossible. Either way, hear me out. Look, perfectionism and procrastination kill dreams. So perfectionism is not a good thing. Perfectionism is the fear of failure disguised as a high standard. It's important that you understand that. Perfectionism is the fear of failure disguised as a high standard. So perfectionism is not how you step into being perfect and step into your perfection. Also, this idea that, you know what, perfection's impossible, I'm gonna set a low standard, that doesn't really serve you either. So how do you get it perfectly done? Well, here's, here's the answer, and it's definitely, probably, most likely, not what you thought it was. But hear me out because it's such a profound thought form when you really think about this. So here's how you step into perfection. You realize that everything that you think is a weakness or, your, or a flaw is a part of your perfection. What if you were divinely and perfectly made as you are and the only thing that's preventing you from being perfect and is seeing your perfection is your own judgment about how you think you should be. So when you're judging yourself, when you're at the expectation of other people or what the media thinks or what magazines say you should be or what your friends say or what social media says you should be, when you're at the effect of that, well, you're not gonna see your own perfection because you're gonna look through this fog and this haze of judgment. So what if you could accept all the things that you think are quote imperfect about yourself today? What if that little extra you know, few pounds was actually perfection? What if, that, if there's a disability about you, if there's perfection in that? If there's a learning disorder, there's a perfection in that. If there's insecurity or fear, there's an there's a imperfection in that because the perfection is this. You are constantly growing and becoming, right? And you don't want to have the judgments of the world and the expectations of others fog you up from being who you're meant to be, from being who you really are. And there is perfection in every situation when we look for what's right, when we stop making situations wrong, not that they happened, but how we relate to the situation. If we can decide that, you know what, I'm gonna see this as perfect, even if that seems crazy right now, then you start to see the gift in the chaos, the gift in what you thought was ugly, perhaps, the gift in what you were rejecting about yourself. There's tremendous gift. When people step into that self-acceptance and they see themselves as perfect as they are right now, but not with any more modifications or you know, uh, filters or any of that type of stuff, but just here as you are, when you can accept yourself as perfect, you can start to understand that everything you've been given in this life, there's an asset there, there's a tool, there's an opportunity for you to use it in a way that makes you 100% unique. The only way that you'd experience not feeling perfect is if you were to live your life by other people's expectations and other people's standards, not the standards of your creator, not the standards of your God or your spirit or your source. When you look through the lens of divine love, when you look through the lens of your creator, you were created perfectly for a purpose. The more that you can embrace your imperfections, the faster you will progress along, or progress along your life uh, path and, and into your purpose. You'll create abundance. You'll come at peace with yourself because there's no more shifting or changing things around. What's happening in your life right now, the things that you think are imperfect are actually exactly what you need in this very moment to grow, to go to that next level, to have that personal and spiritual growth. So, Choose to make friends with what you thought was imperfect. Choose to you know, step out of comparison and really stay in your lane and really realize that if you're in judgment, if you're feeling like you're not enough, then the only reason that is is because you're looking through the lens of somebody else. Look through your own lens, look through the lens of your creator and start to see that everything about you and your life, the good, the bad, the ugly, there's perfection in all of it. And when you look for the perfection, you will see it, you will feel calmer in your body, and you will know that you are divinely guided and you are exactly where you're supposed to be today. So that's my big message for you today. This is a big mindset shift. This is not something really small and I can understand there would be a lot of objections or yeah buts about this coach coaching conversation. But really just for a moment embrace it. Come to this conversation with an open mind and really ask yourself, if I was looking at everything in my life as, per, as being completely perfect, as completely on time, well how would I relate to it? How, if I was gonna stop making things wrong and look for the lesson, and look for how I'm actually trying to resist this, and there's a feeling I'm suppressing, well, all of a sudden, I take my power back, because then things outside yourself don't have that power. It doesn't matter what you've been through, it's not that we're saying it was wrong that it happened, but how you relate to it now, 
right? If you're still relating to it in that way, then you're holding on to that trauma and that past pain. So when you see everything is perfect, then you will be guided to that next step and you will step into the person that you're meant to be. This is a no small feat, no small task, but you want to know how to be perfect, so this is how you do it. And even if you mess up, loving yourself and accepting yourself, that's even perfect too. So accept the fact that you're not gonna get it perfect <laughs> because that too is a part of the lesson. So make sure to apply this today. Make sure this isn't just some spiritual entertainment where you hear the sound of my voice and you don't actually do something about it. My greatest wish, as always, is that you get out there, take action, and make it real. We'll see you soon.